definitely dabbled around asking people who like wear thrasher sh and I'm like, yo, do you like, can you even skate? And they're like, no, I never even tried to skate. I'm like, Yo, what's going on everybody? Andrew Fung from the Fung Bros here, and welcome to another episode of Fung Bros on the Street. As you guys may know, there are two main centers of streetwear and fashion. It is New York City and Los Angeles, and today I'm on Fairfax Ave in LA. Today I'm gonna be going from Fairfax, which is known for its streetwear, to Rodeo, known for its luxury brands in recent years. A lot of streetwear brands have been collaborating with high-end luxury brands, and their fashion worlds have been merging. I'm gonna be asking people about what they're wearing, if you gotta know your streetwear history in order to wear it and I'm gonna be quizzing people on their knowledge of the hypest brands to see if people really know what they're talking about so a lot of people think that you have to know about streetwear brands in order to wear it and be true to the culture or since it's just fashion and you got the money to buy it you can just wear it and it doesn't matter so I'm here to ask two different markets of people from Fairfax to Rodeo and see what they think big shout out to StockX for sponsoring this video it is the easiest way to buy and sell your brand new hype gear I mean it's just overall a useful tool in general and it's free so check it out if you guys have not heard about it and also I'm doing a crazy giveaway with stock X at the end of this video so be sure to stay tuned but for now let's go find out what Fairfax thinks Can you describe your outfit real quick? What you're wearing and like how much each piece might cost? Off-white Prestos, maybe like seven, eight hundred. The jeans are maybe like three hundred bucks. T-shirt right now, Nas T, Supreme, three fifty. A couple rings, Chrome Hearts, Gucci rings, three, four, five hundred a piece. What about the bracelets? Maybe like a thousand. Yeah, what about what you got in your teeth though? Braces. <laughs> hey. They're like six, seven grand. Hey, you trying to get your grill straight for the actual grill? 100%, yeah. No, facts. Of course, I got to start off with the Gucci shoes down here. You know, it cost me a check. Uh, got the H&M pants, like $60 guest shirt right here. Gold watch, vintage ring. The grill? And the, and the grill. How much that grill cost? <laughs> Pretty expensive. The XO Beep Collab. I just bought this two seconds ago from the Beep store. Yeezys, I just bought these two days ago, I think, yeah. What you got in the bag? I got some babe and I got a hoodie and a bag from Supreme. How much did you drop today? You can do it in Norwegian dollars. Yeah. 5,000 kroners maybe, like about $550 I spent okay. today. To wear hoodies like this one, okay. I bought it on Adidas and Nike store. It cost about $50 I think, and this one is $60 in Norway. Do you guys ever use StockX, the app? Yeah, I mean, check it out sometimes. Just to see the prices. So. <laughs> I just have the tag. Yo, you still got the verified tag on. <laughs> yeah. That's, did you wash it with that? Yeah, because kids won't clown me like, oh, that's fake. Nah, bro, it's not fake. <laughs> I, got the, yeah. I got the tag on it. Do you think people have a responsibility to know about the brands that they're wearing, like know the history and some facts and stuff like that? Or is it just fashion and they can do whatever they want? For sure, they should know where it's coming from and like the meaning behind it. I don't think you have to have a responsibility, but like if you're gonna spend $500 on a t-shirt, you should know why you're paying that much money for it. Try to know the cultural fit. To an extent, they should know a little bit about it. You should know like quite a bit. You can't just like buy it and then wear it and then try and like fit in. Yeah. Like really into it, you should know like the history about it. You should wanna represent like whatever brand you're wearing. You do you, like style what you want and if you can afford it then go ahead. Personally I want to know about what I'm buying but for them they're just trying to show like it's like a status symbol at the end of the day. I know what I'm wearing so I do me at the same time you know what I mean. You have your international ballers who just come here and spend hella money so they don't care about the price they'll buy it if they like it. Do they have to know about the history? Not really. Here they don't they don't care. I think fashion's fun. It's your style and whatever you want to wear and I don't think anyone should have a say in that. You know it's just fashion man that's all I can say. Some people can't afford it and they still try to get it you know what I'm saying just because you try to stay with the fashion man. People shouldn't shouldn't impress you too much on it but at the same time if you decked out head to toe with a hat to the sock to the shoe give me a street give me a name man. Like I skate and I've been wearing like skatewear for like the longest time and now it's like a sort of a fashion. Whatever you wear I feel like you should know at least something about it then like if you get called out on it then you just look dumb and you're just literally that's how you expose what people are doing for the Hype. Oh. Definitely dabbled around asking people who like wear thrasher sh and I'm like, yo, do you like, can you even skate? And they're like, no, I never even tried to skate. I'm like, <laughs> it's for the hype, and it's just like, that's the disturbing part. This is a group quiz. I, I think between you guys, you guys are gonna win this. Who is Jerry Lorenzo? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. Met Jerry, really short. I thought he was taller. Fear of God guy. Fear of God, creator and director. Creator for Fear of God. Creator Fear of God. What do they call runners in England? Uh, spoiler. Wait, you, you were in England? I was in England. You were in England? Like <laughs> <laughs> well, not. I can't remember. Any trainers? Trainers? Trainers. Where does the brand Vans come from? Who did LV recently hire as their men's artistic director? Uh, Ablo. Roger Ablo. I'm sorry. Oh, does anybody ever say you look like Safari? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Cameroon. Joel Embiid. Yes. It's bonus points. Do you know who the, his predecessor was? The guy before. Kim, Kim Jones. Okay. What day of the week does Supreme drop? Thursday. 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 Do you guys know the designer's name of the famous Jordan 11? No. Who designed the Air Jordan 11? Michael Jordan. <laughs> Tinker Hatfield. Tinker? Who started bait? Honestly, I don't know. You should know like quite a bit. You can't just like buy and then wear and then try and like fit in. Yeah. You should know like quite a bit. Bit, bit, bit. Isn't it from Japan? It's small Asian man. Some Asian dude. I'm gonna go with do that. You, do you know who started bait? No, I, I love bait, so I need to know though. Nigo. Is his name Nigo? Hey, I said it with confidence. Hey, his name is Nigo. <laughs> Nigo, right? These guys are the history. You gotta know if you're wearing Bape now. I'm gonna tell you. Do you know who started Bape? Nigo. Nigo, Japan, like what, 1993? What inspired this Balenciaga t shirt? Political campaign. Obama campaign or Trump campaign. Or Obama or something like that? Hillary Clinton's. Oh, Bernie Sanders campaign. No, no, no. Okay. Tinker Hatfield said the Air Jordan 11 was inspired by a. I don't know. I know this one. Lawnmower. Did you guys shop Rodeo Drive yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's expensive, but maybe. Rodeo is like a theme park, not even like real. Whereas this is more like, this feels more like home. Have you guys shopped there or would you shop there? No, probably. probably, not probably not. You'd like to check it out? Yes, I would. <laughs> I'm checking it out, okay? I'm walking, seeing what's going on. At least yeah, got to see something. Exactly, if I could afford I'd probably be riding the same hype train. I've, I caught you guys out on Rodeo Drive. This is like luxury brand central. I feel like I'm a, I got transported into a different world slash tax bracket. Are you guys, would you guys say you guys are into streetwear? Like you got a brand, like you follow it, you, you know something about it. Sure. She's with somebody who follows it. <laughs> okay. okay. Definitely love streetwear. One of my friends works for Grail, so I spent a lot of time like with him. What's the main difference between the people that you saw on Rodeo versus the people on Fairfax? I mean, Fairfax, they're more like, like young, you know, just like, Hype beast, I guess, and stuff over here. It's more upscale. Rodeo is like Hollywood, you know what I mean? Rodeo is more higher end. It's it's way more luxury. If you want like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, but if you go to like Fairfax or Melrose, it's more streetwear. Over here on Rodeo, it's more high fashion. But back on Fairfax, it's just like a lot of streetwear, a lot of like Supreme. Fairfax State mostly they focus on like reselling. Is it a responsibility of theirs to really know the brand and know like the facts behind it and stuff like that in order to wear it, or are you more on the side of like, yo, it's fashion, they can do whatever they want? People, I don't expect people to know my brand and wear it just because they know it. I just want people to wear it. That's my dream. That's it. I, I think it's more just fashion. Knowing about it is dope, and it like definitely makes like the item more meaningful for you. Yeah, if you like it, it's, it's not that deep. It's just clothes. I, I disagree. I think like it's a part of who you are. Like if you're like rocking this type of style, that's like tells you who you are as an individual. You know what I mean? I mean like people will see you and you're like, oh, you're rocking, you know, like Bruce Lee and and whatever you're rocking. That's like your style, you know. Really, honestly, just threw the <laughs> it on because it was like on the top of my drawer. I was just chilling. I just threw a T-shirt on. You know what I mean? But I guess it's someone wrong for assuming like. You you know a lot about Bruce Lee. <laughs> right? Yeah, bro, I'm a ninja. Where was Bruce Lee born? <laughs> good, good, good. You don't know where he was born. You shouldn't be wearing Where is he buried? No, I don't know. Yeah. I think if you know it, the better, but if not, it's for fashion. I think they should know about it. They don't have to know all about it. If that's what makes them happy, they could just go ahead and buy it. All right, Trevor, I wanted you to talk about your outfit real quick. Like, how much it generally costs, you know? A thousand dollar for a hoodie. Woo! Seven and maybe like 700 for the shoe. Uh, from China, Shanghai. Casual outfit, man. I'm wearing some J brand jeans. I got the PW's, a vintage Bruce Lee shirt. That's it. Some Yeezys on, about three something. Pack sun pants, about 70. A hoodie on from, I don't even know where the hoodie's from, honestly. 
And then we got some Black Pyramid, about 35 online. That's Chris Brown's brand, right? Yeah, Chris Brown. Does anybody ever say you look like Chris Brown? I get that sometimes, a little bit. Is it Tiger slash Chris Brown? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Hoodie straight from Supreme. Cost me like 170 after tax. You know, New York got that 8% tax, whatever. Oh, the Kith Cobras. 70 bucks or whatever, Kith Adidas. Wearing some Adidas right here, Adidas track pants. The feet I got the triple black Japan pla Japan pack, so the NMDs. They're not easy to find anymore. They came out last year, so they're like 300 now. Lululemon joggers, 100 bucks. St. Lauren, like sneakers, about 500 bucks. The shoes is for SW, like 800 bucks. So hoodies are like 1300 of Vans. Kind of been known, people have been talking about it in fashion and in streetwear that a lot of the people who are buying the high-end stuff are Chinese now. Some people do kind of like poke fun at, you know, some of the Chinese people or the Asian people who are buying it. Seriously, I've heard like many people talking about that, but I don't care. How do you feel when you buy a Balenciaga sweater? I don't, I don't care about the price. I want to know if it fits me. Of course, like everyone wants to be like good. So if there's a sweater that fits me well, I don't, I don't know. I just don't care about the price. You stock it? Do you use it? Yeah. What do you use stock X for? Shoes, like off white crossover with that Jordan. Who is the creator of Supreme? Documentary. <laughs> James W. Who is Jerry Lorenzo? Fear God. Fear God. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The designer for Fear of God? I don't even know. Who did Louis Vuitton recently hire as their men's uh, creative director? Uh, Virgil. Yep. I, I forgot. Yeah. Virgil Abloh? Yeah. Virgil Abloh. Who designed the Jordan 11 along with a lot of other famous Jordans? Don C? It wasn't Don C. <laughs> Yeah, Tinker Hatfield. Who, who started vaping? Where are they from? Nijo. Nigo, Nigo. I knew it Nigo. was Nijo or Nigo. Nigo. I don't know. You guys see this Balenciaga design before? Yeah. It looks like presidential campaign. Okay. Coca Cola. Like a political thing? Political? Yeah, like, I know. I, I think it's like Bush, maybe. Yeah. That'd be my guess. Bernie Sanders. Oh, word. Oh, word. What would they call those in England? Joggers? I don't even know. Oh, like the tennies? I don't know. Tennies? <laughs> <laughs> What's the tennies from? <laughs> I don't know. Trainers. Yo, everybody, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fung Bros on the Street. Talk to so many people, and here are my major takeaways. When it comes to being knowledgeable about the brands that you're wearing, most people said that at the end of the day, it's fashion, so you can wear what you want to wear, but you should know about the pieces that you specifically have on and the ones that you bought. However, there definitely were some traditional people who were not happy about how little knowledge people had about certain brands. This After quizzing people out on Fairfax and Rodeo, I can tell you that the people buying streetwear right now do not know everything about streetwear. And point number two, so traditionally, streetwear does seem like one of these cultures that you kind of had to know the history. Based on the responses I got, the people buying streetwear did not know a lot of the basic facts. So I would definitely say, guys, if you're gonna spend about $500 on a sweater, you probably wanna know the history of that company. And point number three, a lot of the people that I met on Fairfax, they actually do not go to Rodeo Drive at all. But I would say a lot of the people that I ended up meeting out on Rodeo have been to Fairfax. Either way, the culture's pretty different. But definitely out in Rodeo, man, it feels like I'm in a whole nother planet like, like Asgard or some other palace. This is a different world, okay? And lastly, big shout out to StockX for sponsoring this video. Without them, this couldn't have happened. So, please check down below for the instructions to a crazy giveaway through StockX. I'm gonna leave the instructions right there in the description down below. Definitely check it out if you guys have not used StockX before. It's free, check out the app, it's a website, it's a great tool. Market prices for streetwear, for hype gear, buying and selling brand new stuff, it's all verified. So definitely check out StockX if you get the chance. All right, everybody, and this is for you. Do you need to know about the culture, the history, the founders, the people who started it in order to wear streetwear authentically? or? Is it just fashion? You guys let me know in the comments down below. I wanna hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, everybody, I'm out. Peace. I mean, you look at people like Kanye West. Years ago, people would be like, yo, you, you looking crazy. He was wearing the skirt, this kilt. And then Justin Bieber jumped on that. 2020's right around the corner. We all about to wear kilts. Kilts on Fairfax, coming soon.